Welcome everybody. Uh, we are here uh, for developers. Uh, may I may I introduce the developers? Victoria, uh, who is the front end developer, Andrea, who is the development coordinator, Melinda. Uh, she is an exercise engine expert, and Tony. Uh, he is a search engine expert. So we are working on uh, the gateway. This gateway, uh, in other words, the portal. So sometimes I'm called gateway, sometimes I'm called um, page, site, or, or portal. Uh, I, I try to uh, who uh, doesn't uh, speak, please turn off your microphone. Turn off, turn off your microphone. Okay. Everybody, turn off uh, because there is uh, a big noise. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I share my screen. Can you uh, can you see? This is uh, the landing page of the gateway. Somebody. Victoria. It's OK, I see. It's OK, OK. Yes, we can see. OK, okay. Uh, this is the, the first page. This is the landing page of uh, the uh, Lala, uh, gateway. Uh, uh, we are working on it. Uh, it is in progress. Uh, we can change if you want. Uh, we can put uh, more uh, text and uh, more uh, picture uh, in uh, this uh, uh, surface. So uh, you can see some uh, many points on the top of the screen. This is the training material, the lesson plans, games, or in other words, exercises, the contacts, and the, the search search engine. Uh, and uh, there is a little uh, menu for the for the modules. If you click on, uh, you can get uh, some uh, modules. Uh, this uh, presentation has uh, two parts. The first part is uh, talking about uh, gateway in general, and uh, I want to show you the lesson plan modules. And in the second uh, half uh, second part uh, in this uh, presentation Melinda will talk about how to use how to create exercises it will be very exciting so uh, uh, this software uh, as I mentioned is uh, being uh, uh, developed developed uh, uh, we are at the half time because we have one year uh, this year for uh, the developing and now um, of course in the end of June uh, we are at the half time but uh, we can use and we can uh, show you how to work and uh, what will you get end of uh, this year so this is the training material uh, many point. This training material um, now uh, you can see only one. After uh, somebody or, um, or the management uh, will translate or send the translated text, uh, we can uh, put uh, all uh, languages. Now uh, this is in uh, this is in English. The training material, it's a smart book or uh, interactive uh, book, which was uh, created by our uh, editor. Uh, this is the content, uh, this menu, you can uh, pull down this uh, uh, menu and uh, you can jump into the lesson uh, immediately if you click on uh, the certain many points. Uh, you can uh, go through the all of uh, training material. 
uh, we got this uh, this text in PDF, and this PDF uh, was uh, translated uh, or transformed transformed into this HTML uh, format. And uh, Andrea is uh, working on uh, this uh, training uh, material. Uh, why is it uh, HTML? Uh, because uh, every text which uh, are in this uh, HTML book, every text can be uh, found in the, uh, the search menu point. For example, I want to show you this is the goal of teaching. Uh, I copy and uh, click on the search uh, uh, menu point, and this is goal of teaching. Enter, and you can see uh, one result how to teach and click on, and we jump into uh, this, uh, the certain part of this uh, document. So uh, everything, uh, every text, every word uh, can be uh, searchable in this uh, type, in this uh, HTML uh, document. Uh, if you uh, translate your language for your language, this training material uh, also, uh, these uh, texts also will be searchable uh, in this uh, system. Uh, now uh, is in Hungarian and uh, English language. Uh, we will send all label or uh, any uh, old text, uh, any caption and many point we will be sent uh, in an Excel table to the uh, management, to the RECA. And if we uh, get back the translation, uh, we can put uh, all languages. Uh, we are working five languages, uh, of course, uh, Hungarian, English, uh, uh, Slovak, Slovakian, Romanian and Estonian language. You can change uh, the language uh, here. Uh, I changed it to Hungarian and the menu point uh, uh, were changed in English and you can you can see uh, here. There are two types of uh, the users. Uh, the first time <clears throat> every everybody, everything, the all of the world. Uh, they are the visitor. Everybody can visit this uh, site from the uh, from, from the world. And uh, uh, the second uh, role is uh, the editor. The editor can uh, make a lesson plan and can make uh, exercise and can make a, a connection between the lesson plan and the exercises. So you will get uh, account, you will get uh, username and password and uh, after some most, uh, 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 I think um, around September, you will uh, able to create a lesson plan and exercises in this uh, system. So uh, this is uh, the main uh, menu point, the training material. Uh, it uh, displays uh, on this place will be five. Uh, material if we uh, get uh, the translated document. The second many point, the lesson plans. The lesson plans uh, is a list. Uh, all of lesson plans uh, will be uh, found uh, here in this uh, in this list. Uh, as as we talked uh, approximately uh, for 40 lesson plans will be in the in the system and every uh, every lesson plan has uh, at least uh, five uh, uh, translated, translated version. Uh, there are five uh, version 
and 40 lesson plans. So uh, it will be approximately 200 uh, lesson plan in this list. Uh, every lesson plan uh, uh, will be uh, here in this list. Uh, uh, so um, after some uh, weeks, uh, we will uh, put some uh, buttons, uh, some possibilities to change the language and you can uh, filter this uh, list for the language. So uh, this is the lesson plan one. Uh, if I click on it, uh, I can open the lesson plan uh, form. This form uh, has uh, three uh, sections, three uh, panels. Uh, the first is the, the general data title, learning competence, complexity, and subject, uh, and so on. The second is uh, the attachment. You can attach, you can upload uh, the document in a Word format. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, in important information. Uh, you can upload in PDF format, but the PDF format, uh, uh, it, uh, it will be uh, not uh, recognized by the software, so so you cannot uh, uh, search in the system. Uh, um, we are waiting for a doc, a Word doc file. Uh, you can attach uh, more than one Word file to this uh, lesson plan. So you can make, uh, uh, you can split uh, uh, more than one part uh, your lesson plan if, if you want, or it's uh, very long. You can separate in the um, in the document. And uh, the third part is the uh, games. Uh, development uh, is in progress, as you can see. Uh, uh, when you can create uh, exercise exercises, you can link. You can make a link, a connection between. Uh, your lesson plan and the exercises and uh, the exercises will be list, listed in in this um, in this part in this uh, panel uh, this panel this form is a uh, uh, is public and uh, after uh, i uh, i'm going to show you how to edit how to create itself the lesson plan. So uh, a user or a visitor, a visitor from over the world uh, found uh, this um, uh, this gateway and found this lesson plan many point and uh, this uh, user can uh, choose uh, a lesson plan and they will see this uh, the screen and they can uh, download uh, uh, the lesson plan in a uh, doc format in the word uh, word format uh, this is the public as i mentioned uh, this uh, the third uh, point it's a games uh, you will create uh, I hope you will uh, create uh, exercise or games or task, and uh, this is the storage of storage of the games. Uh, every uh, exercise which is uh, published, every uh, exercise uh, appears in this screen. This is a storage. This is a public uh, storage. You can. You can find any uh, it easy, uh, uh, easily uh, way you can easy way you can find uh, uh, any exercise. Uh, I can imagine you will create uh, hundreds hundreds exercises uh, uh, because uh, it's uh, very impressive and we have 25 types uh, of exercises 
and uh, uh, I, I believe you can uh, find the uh, the best uh, uh, the best uh, exercise type for your lesson plan uh, uh, about uh, exercises uh, melinda uh, will talk about uh, them as i mentioned so uh, this is uh, this uh, menu is uh, the um, exercise uh, st uh, storage uh, you can see some possibilities, the classes uh, or, uh, and subject, and you can filter the results. You can filter the result, game and game series. Uh, we have uh, not only games, but uh, we can uh, put the games, the, the simple games into the game uh, series and uh, we can play uh, uh, after games, uh, we can play together and we can uh, um, st um, store together the games. Uh, Melinda will talk about uh, uh, because Melinda is the expert. So uh, this uh, point is not translated. Uh, this is the um, this is the level. Uh, you can choose the level. You can add a level. Uh, from one to five uh, level uh, to your exercise. Uh, and uh, if you found uh, an exercise, you can click it and you will get what you want. Uh, this is the uh, uh, one exercise and you can play, you can start uh, um, here. Uh, so um, this is a training material lesson plan games contract it's uh, not a big deal uh, these are the information about uh, the, the project uh, this is the search search uh, engine uh, like in the google you can uh, find uh, anything which are existing in the system so uh, this uh, this menu point uh, this menu uh, um, if one, uh, if somebody is is a user and uh, has an um, account, this uh, menu uh, will appear uh, in this year. And this is the educational material editor, lesson plan editor. Uh, it's uh, exciting. You can see here uh, the lesson plans in the editor mode it editor mode uh, mm, don't be confused this lesson plan menu for everybody this lesson plan uh, point for the editor it's a different you can see this is lesson plan uh, in a list uh, you can see the list in this main point you can see in other in another list, you can see uh, only the published, only the published lesson plan. What does it mean? In this uh, lesson plan editor, uh, for example, you can uh, you can make the lesson plan, and after uh, you can publish. And uh, we can talk about. Uh, um, uh, if you want to um, uh, a special role who can publish these um, uh, lesson plan or everybody can publish uh, uh, we suggested that uh, we um, should have at least uh, two roles uh, uh, the first role is can edit can create lesson plan and the second role some some people can publish or uh, can check uh, it's a correct it's um, it's a everything is uh, uh, filled in so um, maybe you should decide about uh, this uh, uh, the thing uh, uh, maybe uh, 
we need uh, at least two roles, uh, the editor and uh, the publisher. OK, we, we can talk about uh, later for this uh, uh, question. So you can uh, you can see the um, editor screen of the lesson plan. You will use this uh, this screen so we can reach from this uh, menu point lesson plan editor and click on and you can see uh, one lesson plan one lesson plan and uh, five languages uh, you can change the language of uh, the software and uh, if you change the language for your language for example hungarian you can see this is the general data attachment games categorization okay change the language i change the language so the default language is hungarian and you can see this title uh, were changed as well okay so you can see you can work in this system in your language uh, and you can uh, fill in the lesson plan you can create a lesson plan in any languages in the same time if uh, somebody uh, if uh, somebody is making uh, in hungarian and she or he knows the um, lesson plan in english language she he can uh, change and she he she can uh, add the information in english as well uh, it's uh, it's very uh, important and useful you can see uh, here the general data the title of your lesson plan the learning competence to be uh, developed uh, this is a list you can choose one of them item one of them uh, this is uh, the next one is um, optional optional field you can write here anything anything uh, the complexity simple or complex you have to choose one of them uh, this is the subject this is the subject uh, part uh, you can choose more than one you can choose uh, uh, more than one uh, if uh, the uh, selected uh, item is wrong uh, you can delete uh, this uh, with this uh, button so uh, the subject uh, there are a lot of uh, maybe we are thinking about uh, the subject the name of the subject maybe in Hungary there's a different subject and in Estonia also different uh, subject uh, maybe we uh, we have a same name for example biology but sometimes uh, mm, uh, I can uh, I, I'm sure there are some different name different uh, subject and uh, we are uh, try trying to handle this uh, situation uh, in the system uh, but uh, we uh, we should harmonize the the subject and uh, if we uh, have if we will have some different subject uh, we can uh, show uh, to the editor in uh, the original language so if we cannot translate a subject we can show only in the original language uh, we decided uh, it will be the method in this uh, uh, place you can see the year um, for one um, to uh, 12 also is a um, class is a class class uh, we have to translate also this uh, uh, this word and you can see the methods there are a lot of methods mm, you can uh, choose one of them 
sorry, uh, we can't see the options again. So, Nikki? Uh, we can't see the options. Can't see options. Yeah, we can't see options uh, because we uh, didn't get the options. No? No, it's uh, the same problem as it was uh, before. You are only sharing one window, not the... Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. The, uh, the problem is uh, you cannot uh, uh, see uh, the options uh, because uh, I shared only one uh, one uh, tab. I'll try to okay. I'll try to share a whole. Mm. Yeah, and there. Where can I? It, uh, by, can by, by Bela is working on uh, just uh, a technical thing. You can take a, take a photo, take a picture about the training for dissemination. Okay, that's all. Okay. Vicky, can you see? Still not. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Sorry about uh, about it. Uh, window. You share the whole screen. Okay. Whole screen. Whole screen. Uh, okay. So we will cut this part. Okay. If this is the screen, and now. Yes. We can okay. also see. Okay. So, uh, sorry for this interrupt. Uh, you couldn't see the you couldn't see the items, the possibilities. And and now, Vicky, it's visible now. It's visible. Thank you. It's visible. So, um, sorry. Uh, uh, in this. Uh, in this section, you can uh, choose one of them. Problem solving, critical thinking and managing. Uh, this is a free text uh, field. This is a free text field. Complexity, it's a very simple, simple and uh, complex. You can choose one of them. The subject, you can uh, choose more than one. For example, uh, the lesson plan, uh, it's biology and uh, chemistry. You can choose more than one. Uh, the year, uh, only one. Possibilities to cho uh, choice. Uh, method. Uh, uh, you can see uh, this uh, um, 15 or uh, uh, 20 method. And the, the time frame is not translated for the time being. Uh, it means uh, less than one lesson, approximately one lesson and more than one lesson. So uh, we are continuously uh, translating uh, this uh, text and uh, when uh, you uh, have to start work with this uh, software, uh, you will find uh, the items or possibilities uh, and title caption in your language, in your language. Uh, so this is the general uh, data. Why uh, are need uh, to be uh, filled in? Uh, it's necessary uh, because the search engine can uh, find this lesson plan by this data. Uh, if you add, uh, if you give uh, a very good name of the site, everybody can uh, can find in the search uh, searching uh, section. And uh, if you uh, choose um, uh, the year and the, the method, uh, it will be uh, found. Uh, uh, in the search engine. Uh, so, 
<clears throat> this is the responsible uh, of the editor of the creator uh, giving the right uh, giving the right uh, uh, data right meta data uh, attachment you can upload the files from this uh, uh, menu point uh, now there is no mm, mm, I don't have any access right. Uh, we have refreshed the uh, development machine for this permission later. OK, thank you. So uh, you can upload the, uh, the virtual file or you can uh, use the drag and drop uh, possibility. Uh, and you can uh, delete, of course, if uh, if you uh, cho uh, choose the, the wrong file. Uh, the games, uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, under uh, development, is in progress. Uh, this is the place when you can link, when you can make a link between the exercises and, uh, and the lesson plan. And the uh, categorization, uh, you will add any keywords to this uh, lesson plan. The, the keywords uh, may be uh, or can be a little bit different the, uh, from the general uh, data. Uh, you will uh, uh, give uh, any useful uh, words and useful keywords and uh, um, uh, maybe the visitor can uh, find your uh, can find your lesson plan by these uh, keywords so uh, the lesson plan module uh, it's very simple uh, uh, because uh, you can write your lesson plan in a Word document. And these screen, these forms uh, are uh, helping for you to find, to search between the, this lesson plan uh, in the search engine. Sorry, in the, in, in the search uh, uh, engine. So uh, if you Feel, yeah. If you feel uh, right, these uh, <coughs> these fields, uh, the visitor can find your uh, lesson plan. So it's uh, not a rocket science. <laughs> uh, uh, this uh, this lesson plan. So uh, as I mentioned. Uh, one lesson plan has uh, uh, five languages and uh, you can uh, switch to the Hungarian uh, language, uh, English language. You can see uh, here uh, there is a different title. If uh, it is the uh, Hungarian, this is the uh, You can uh, you can save here and you can see here. In case of Hungarian, this is a oral uh, and in case of English, this is a lesson plan, and so on. Slovak, uh, Slovakian, um, Estonian, and uh, Roman, Romanian language, and in the lesson plan. You can see here. This is uh, my this is my lesson plan, uh, which uh, which was changed uh, in the editor. In the editor, it was changed. So uh, don't worry, and uh, you uh, are not to be afraid of uh, this software. Uh, we uh, create a um, user guide and maybe a tutorial 
uh, and you can uh, ask uh, a support from uh, from us. Uh, uh, we will give you uh, an email address and uh, you can uh, send me, send us uh, any problem or question. So uh, it was my part. <clears throat> Sorry, it was my part and uh, uh, I ask uh, Melinda to continue with uh, the exercise engines. Uh, thank you, Vela. I also welcome everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Melinda Pop, and as Vela mentioned, um, I am responsible um, for the exercise engines or games, as uh, you prefer to call it. And this is uh, the part I would like to show you. I also uh, share my screen. Can you see this? It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Just a second. OK, so this is uh, what we see as startup. And as uh, Bela mentioned before, we have uh, one uh, main menu where you can see all the published exercises. These will be displayed for uh, all the visiting users. These are the ones that are um, acknowledged, corrected, and uh, published. When you are an editor, you have the possibility to navigate to another menu from here, from the modules uh, here to the exercise list. This is a different view of the exercises, the games. This is the editorial list. You can see here uh, you have um, all the all the exercises. Um, you will see here two tabs, the editorial games and official games. Um, this was just recently changed. I just uh, <laughs> a bit surprised. OK, so on this tab, you can see all the currently developed uh, exercises, all the ones that have been created and also the ones in progress. So these are all the, the exercises. You can see these are mine. Um, uh, my user here is Lella Lilla. But there are also other exercises by other editors. There is another tab where you can only see those exercises that uh, are published already. So they, they, were, they were put through a kind of revision process that you have to define and we implement it, but uh, it is um, um, required that uh, some people do some revision or when you start to create a game and then you decide it's finished, it's final, then you can publish uh, your created game. Um, so only this side, the editorial games, are possible to edit or delete. The ones that are current, currently published, or if you don't... Uh, have the possibility to delete them just like that. You first have to cancel the publication. But this is very much in detail. We will talk about this probably at a later stage in this uh, content development. OK, so um, here you can see the states of uh, the exercises. It is in Hungarian because um, we did not yet define um, these states for you. So, for example, it is states can be under editing, under uh, referring, 
were published. But this is something that you have to decide at one point, that what stages you want. Do you want um, linguistic proofreading as a stage or um, content revision or anything else? Okay, so these are different types of exercises. As Bila mentioned, the translation is currently under progress, so sorry for the inconvenience. Mm, we try to give good illustrations though with these icons, uh, for example, for a quiz, for a number line, sorting and so on. I will demonstrate how uh, one can create an exercise from zero. So here is this page that you can also filter your exercises, the ones that are displayed or sort them. And here is the button uh, to create a new one. <coughs> so here in this page, not translated yet, but all the, the available exercise types and also some games are available. We distinguish between different types of games. For example, this one, a multiple answer type, means that, you, that we display multiple buttons and the user has to click on buttons to, to define the answer. Ordering type questions are more drag and drop type when you need to sort or place one item from one place to the other. Textual is when we display um, text boxes and we require the users to type uh, strings text. Uh, the last one is the games. Um, for example, memory card, puzzle, um, bird finder and so on, which are um, not that uh, not uh, exercises in the strong sense, but rather really just games like memory card is to to let people practice, but it's not really something uh, you can give points for, for example. I would like to demonstrate with a very simple one. It is a simple quiz that I would like to create now. So this is the, the regular way how all of the exercise editor, game editor pages look. They have two sides. On the left side, you can see the input fields where you can define all the data about describing one exercise. On the right side, you see the live demo. Well, what you have currently created, you can, you can try it out immediately on here in the right side. As soon as there will be many published exercises, we can display, we will display here randomly some of them, like five random already existing exercises that you can load into the editor field so you don't have to start every time from scratch. So let's uh, quickly look through all these, uh, uh, some of these inputs. Uh, the first selectors are, this one is the, for the grade, this one is for the, the subject. Um, this one we previously discussed, you will only need this type because you will only create official content and you will not allow um, other people to freely register and create their own contents. So never mind this part. You can create a unique identifier uh, for your exercise. This is just a free text, but if you would like uh, to give a unique ID for your exercise so, so later you can um, find it more easily, you can do that, it is optional. The level of difficulty is uh, that how hard you think this exercise is, 
probably this makes more sense if you also select what grade it is that you aim for. So if it is um, a first grader exercise, then you can say that, OK, for a first grader, this is difficulty level three. The difficulty level that you set is displayed here on the right side at the exercise uh, here at the top part with this icon. And now we can create our example quiz. And here is where you can write your, your description in case if it is a quiz, I write here immediately what is the, the question, for example, which animals are domesticated? And if I click, you can already see that uh, also the title, the level, and the description are displayed. But let's continue. You can see that inputs marked by stars are the ones that are mandatory. They are required. Um, uh, some keywords are required. Uh, for example, domestic. Um, and animals. Keywords are a good thing and we strongly recommend for everyone to use. It is, uh, for example, in this case, if uh, we aim for first grader students and we wouldn't want to say domesticated, they are, might not be familiar with the term, but we rather say um, live around the house, which animals live around the house. And uh, when we use a search engine and people want to look for an exercise about domesticated animals, if only this text would be in our exercise, they wouldn't be able to find it. So here the keywords are a good opportunity to use to put some higher level notions or descriptions about your exercise that words that might not occur in uh, the description or the answers, but are very descriptive and will help the search. I hope this is clear for everyone. Okay. Sorry. We, we can uh, imagine like uh, uh, hidden words, hidden words. Uh, these hidden words or keywords can be searchable in the uh, search uh, engine. Yes. OK, so for each exercise, I can um, add an additional illustration, an image file, for example. Yeah, well, I only have such for now. I am required to give an alt tag. I can also give uh, a sound file if uh, I want uh, someone to listen to some, some podcast or anything, some recorded file, then I can also add one here. This comment is just for editors. So when from one editor to the other, to the other if you want to write anything specific. Um, and here comes the part, the details, which describes an exercise, uh, for example, this quiz, which uh, here are the parts that are specific to the current type of exercise. For example, when we are talking about a quiz, we can set such things that do we allow mul multiple correct answers or just one? Do we want to display the elements uh, horizontally or vertically? And so on. So. This upper part here is general for all exercises. What comes here at the details part is actually what uh, varies from exercise to exercise. So here I can give my answers. So 
So which animals live around the house, for example? That maybe dog. Um, here, when I created a new answer, you can see for the type quiz, these inputs, um, I can set which type is the answer. Currently, this is text, but I could switch also to image or to audio if I want to upload a sound file. And here I could select an image. But um, for this, I will just leave it here. Or maybe I add one odd element, for example, an image. This will be tricky because the strawberry is not an animal at all. <laughs> OK, so I have my three options that uh, the users can click when they play the exercise. And I still need to set which ones are the correct that I can do with these checkboxes. So the correct answer is the cat. Currently, I can only set one as correct, but here I can, as I mentioned before, say that a multiple answers are allowed, and then I can set both as the correct answers. And now I can try it out. I click on the strawberry. Ah, oh, and it's not good. Who would have thought? Yes. All right, I could go on adding other answers. I could also change the display of this exercise. And I could save it. I will, I, I will save it as a new one. And here it's writing that it's saved successfully. And if I go back to the list, I will see my newly created example exercise just right here. As you could see, we have almost about tw uh, 20 exercise types, game types, that one can use and select. I just would like to show um, maybe one or two examples. For example, one is hmm. okay for example this one it is a pairing type of exercise here you can see that uh, it is a different type. This is an ordering based exercise where I can drag and drop items to their right place. When it comes to drag and drop to make the exercises more accessible, we also implemented that it works with dragging, but it also works with click. Click on the item and click on the place you want it to be dropped. Also, there is a possibility to enlarge the images if you want. And go through them. So as discussed previously, this uh, general data is all is the same for all of the exercises. Here we have the details, which is different in this case when it, it comes to a pairing type of exercise. So there is the first part of the pair, the second part of the pair. What you can see here, I have pair one, pair two, and so on, and so on, and so on. I have actually nine pairs defined, but here you can only see four images and five possible answers. 
And if I press restart, you can see that the images are changing because one has the possibility to limit the displayed number of elements, which is this part. If it's set to zero, all the options are displayed. If it's set to any less number, then it's randomly selected from, from the ones you gave. Uh, so here I defined five elements. That's why five is displayed. And one additional trick that you can also create odd elements. So ones that do not belong anywhere. For example, here we see four images and five options because actually the nectarine will not belong anywhere. Which is, yeah. yeah. Now it's randomly selected five images and the corresponding five answers. Okay, you can also reorder or delete elements at your comfort. Uh, one other thing I would like to show you, it is uh, this um, spatial type of exercise. When um, in many cases, if you want, um, you have, for example, a map or an image as such that you can see on my screen and you want the user to place the, the elements on the image you can also define this uh, type of exercises. For example, I just do like this. Yes, um, I forgot to mention before, but when you click on um, evaluate your solution you can also get the answer if you are tired of trying you can just ask for the correct solution okay so as previously mentioned the general data is the same i can also close this part and here comes the details that are specific for this exercise here are the games that how the areas are defined. So the first area with the corresponding element. Here it is selected as a rectangle. If I click here, this is where I can give the corresponding points. If it is not 100% precise, I have the, the option to, to manually overwrite it if I'm not satisfied with it. And when I provide such a shape, I can give uh, one or even more elements that can be dropped into that image area. I can choose from rectangle, circle, or uh, um, custom shape. So it is possible to create uh, different types of uh, shapes. Custom shapes. Um, what I would also like to tell, you can see that there are many other closed parts here that I could just uh, open. The first is the the general data that I mentioned you, the, the general data about all exercises. We also have display settings. These are also available for all types of exercises. We can uh, set such things as uh, put the whole exercise in a simple style, which looks like this, uh, very smooth and white big buttons if uh, someone is interested in this type of display. We also allow such things as um, not allowing the user to, to give wrong answers. So for example, if I would want to, 
I would want to move here the wrong element, it just wouldn't let me. Only the correct elements could go to the right place. And so on. These are great many settings that one can give. I'm not, uh, I don't want to take two more days of your time to explain everything about <laughs> all the exercise properties. One more thing though, here, this was the display settings. The next one is uh, what I would like to mention is pop-up windows. We defined three types of uh, pop-up windows that can be displayed inside an exercise. The first type is the one to show right when the exercise starts. So, I give here a text. The exercise is refreshed. You can see that whenever the exercise is displayed, it is displayed right at the beginning. I can close it and I can reopen it anytime when I press this uh, button. This pop-up window is good to give a more insight to a topic or some hint or you know, just some helpful information that people can refer to while they are solving an exercise. And they can look at it whenever they want. Uh, but it doesn't take up space uh, constantly from the screen. The other two messages is when the exercise is over and if the solution was wrong or the solution was correct, for example, if the solution is uh, wrong that the user just gave, we can write here some more information, some more detailed uh, description or some help that can help the user to, to try again. The message for correct answer is when the exercise is finished and it was 100% correct. Then we can just give uh, some more information, some interesting insight that the student would be interested in, point maybe the student to another direction that if this was interesting, then you might want to learn about this and that. Okay. So when we are trying to solve an exercise, I mentioned and I showed you that uh, we can click on the check and uh, we can get the correct answer or we can just keep continuing until, until we actually finally get the 100%. All right, I will go now back here. So here you could see the, the different types of exercises. And now I just would like to show you the exercise series. Melinda, sorry mm -hmm. for interrupt. Uh, is there any possibility to make another way uh, the exercise? Um, can I make a copy from an ex from exercise? Uh, yes. It is possible that as an editor, you can go um, here to edit someone else's uh, exercise as well. So here was, for example, another user's exercise. I can click here on the copy. And if I click on it, I will have my own copy of that and I can modify it. This is one possibility um, here. If I click on this link, which is an active link, so not clicking on the edit, but rather on this one, right on this, 
then this is the the preview of the exercise uh, displaying it and here i can also go to edit and uh, and um, or go back to the list if i go to edit i also have the option to save it as a copy and did i answer your question okay yeah Think, uh, okay, so, uh, uh, we can I create, just... Uh, so, so we, we can create a brand new uh, exercise, but uh, we can copy a, another exercise from other users. But uh, we can copy only which uh, was published yet. Which was published. Um, no, actually, as editors, okay. we can copy also work in progress. Also work in progress. So yes. So here, okay. this is the well. Here you can you can see that there is no edit or delete button with the official games. These are the published ones. Okay. Here I can only make a copy of them. If I go here, I can also click on edit. Uh, and then I or copy, and also if I go to edit, I can save it as a copy. Okay. Uh, and what about the status? I can see um, uh, Hungarian editing and uh, and um, as, Yes. As I mentioned before one uh, content such as an exercise or game can go through a validation process. So once it's created by its owner and the owner seems uh, thinks it's uh, it's finished and it's done, it's good to have a second opinion. And when you want to have uh, good quality content, it's good to introduce stages such as uh, proofreading and such that I told you before. And at the end of the chain of proofreading, one can do a publishing. And this here means the circus dish in Hungarian, it means under editing. Under editing. And the uh, published means that it was once published on this displayed date that you can see here. But there is a version of it existing that you can still edit and modify, correct things in it and then republish. This can happen when even though the, the, the exercise was proofread and published, but later someone notices some mistakes on it. And if some such a report happens and you want to retrieve an exercise to correct it, it's not immediately deleted from the from the site. There is a published version still available. Meanwhile, in the background, there is another version which is which becomes editable again. And until the time comes when this editable version will be fit to be published again until this other older version is still there and when the new one is fit then it's overriding okay. the, the the published version so in the same time there are two instances from yes. one exercise two instances one of them is published for the visitor for everyone and uh, one of them is only for the editor user. So yes, two instances. It's good to know. And uh, can we try to open the workflow? Is it working? Uh, no. No. We did uh, not yet. Uh, you can see uh, here the, uh, there is a workflow button. A workflow, it means that uh, if you are done with uh, the exercise, you can send uh, this exercise to the other stage. Uh, for example, to the validator user and the validator 
can uh, publish the uh, the exercise. Okay, thank you. Exercise series. Okay, so as uh, Bela mentioned or asked, we have the opportunity to to copy exercises for our local. Uh, the thing is, I cannot really find one that I'm looking for. Oh, never mind. Okay. This is a um, um, system in development, and these are, this is test data. So it can be that someone deleted <laughs> the exercise that I created. But anyway, we can move on. Uh, to see exercise series. So what was previously shown, we can create standalone exercises, games, such as a simple quiz or a simple pairing exercise and so on. But mm, the need comes that what if we want to queue multiple exercises, put multiple exercises one after the other, so join them to a series of exercises. You also have the possibility for that. This is the menu exercise series list, just as for the, just like for the other exercise list page, we have um, the two tabs, editorial and official. And here you can, here are one button with which you can create a completely new one, as I show you. Okay, this is the page where you can give the information about your series. Again, class and subject. So, a grade and subject, more precisely. You can give it a title. And you can give it an introduction. I write, please fill the test. Here again, we can give additional keywords. For now, I just give test and another difficulty level. As mentioned before, difficulty level can be rather, so difficulty levels are rather related to the current grade we are aiming for. As for a series, you can select a different grade and different difficulty level than the ones, than the ones that the, the included exercises have. Here is the table that shows the exercises that are already put in our series with this add a game button we can select ones to include. For example, the one that we just created, fruits, odd elements. Okay. This one. Now you can see that I have some exercises put in my exercise series, I can change the order, I can uh, preview them or delete from the list. Here also the, their level is displayed uh, and I can give an additional weight to them. So as to say how much point they will mean. So how, yes, we basically it can be associated with points. So here are other settings that I can set. For example, the type of behavior is not yet translated, but there are two of them. One is exam and one is practice. The practice means that uh, it works as I previously shown you, showed you that uh, you can you can try as many times as you want. 
you try to solve the exercise, you get a feedback that it was not completely correct, then you can continue and, and keep trying. When it is set to be an exam type, it means that you don't get feedback immediately. It is uh, jumping to the next exercise and you will only get information on your final results when you are completely, when you have finished the, the solving of the exercise series. We can also set uh, that the order of questions is fixed and we have uh, multiple possibilities on how to select the exercise to be displayed. It's still in Hungarian, this one, but the first one is, is saying all exercises. This means if this is selected, all of these will come to the user. Second one, a given number of exercises. This, um, if I give here three, the number three, it will mean that three randomly selected exercises will be shown for the user, three out of these. I can also say for a given point, and if, uh, for example, I set um, this one to be 10 points and this one to be 10 points, and here I say example 15. You can see that multiple combinations can come out. It can be a one five point exercise and one 10 point or three five point exercises and so on. The last option is um, an set number of exercises for a given point, which means I can set up pairs that out of uh, what type of exercise, with which weight, how many of those I would like to display. For example, here I have exercises with five points and 10 points. I can say I want to display from the five points exercises two, and I want from the 10 point exercises one. I hope it is clear. So this is the weight and uh, the number of exercises related to weight that I want to display. Okay, this uh, are the display settings. Type of evaluation, it is um, about how we display the points and how um, we evaluate, we can click that we keep showing how many points the user has have earned so far. We can define what is the level of success, so how, how much of the total points the user must achieve so that we write that it was a successful solution. And we can also set a time limit which in minutes. So for example, I can say I give three minutes to solve this exercise. When you have a time limit, then this, uh, this here will tell, by setting this, you allow the user that even though it is, uh, there is a time limit and they will be, there will be a displayed timer, the user can interrupt it. So plus a pause, gone, a pause, a pause button and uh, continue a bit later. Okay, I'm finished with filling up this and I can save it. All right, I go back to the list and we can see what I have just done. So I could continue editing, but instead I click here and I start to play my exercise. So here it is. Here you can see the introduction I gave for my exercise series. Here you see the time that was that passed. It started at three minutes. Here you have two um, 
two lines of text. The first one is the, ti the title of the series. The second one is the title of the current exercise. And here the gray bar is the progress bar that shows where, how far we are from the end. And here on the right, top right corner, you can see how many points we have earned so far. So yeah, let's try quickly. Bone to the dog. Um, Maine Coon is a species of cat. Probably like that. Oh yes, I earned 10, 10 points immediately. Good for me. <laughs> So now I'm required to put the items in order of their size. Let's try. Well, not 100% correct. I only got two points for this, two correct items. I could keep on trying, but the time is rather short. So I just go to the next one. And which animals live around the house, which I just created that I know. This is correct. And here I already reached the end, so I can jump to evaluation. Mm, by the way, since I could have interrupted this exercise series, I could just press on the pause button and it means that I can look at the exercise, but I have I cannot do any interaction. I cannot press any button or move any elements. And I could continue and now I click on evaluation. And here is a summary what I have done, number of games, number of points, and my uh, success percent, which was 85. And of course, I could try. Sorry, I think it was interrupted. Did you hear what I was saying? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, yes. There was a problem with connection. Okay. So you can keep on restarting and uh, trying again. And as you can see, since it's randomly selected, you can find other types of uh, exercises as well from the list that we preset, of course. OK. Thank you for the feedback. Someone wrote that you can hear me. <laughs> OK. Um, what I can still mention, this one, this game series was a simple one. There is also an option to create a so-called adaptive exercise series. In many things, it is the same as the one I showed you previously. What we can do here is uh, divide exercises in topics. So previously, it was just one big table and you could put their exercises and uh, just give them weights or points. Here it is possible to give uh, different topics and inside one topic you, you, are, you have multiple levels of difficulty. And if you put exercises on all levels, then one, when the user plays this exercise, it will uh, work like this. First, it will start with the lowest level exercise. Then, if the solution of the user is correct, then it will jump to one higher level exercise to the next level. If that is also correct, then it will jump up to the next level. If it is not, then it jumps back to the previous one until uh, there is a termination criteria that maximum how many exercises can be displayed and such. But it is good to have a smooth change between difficulties of exercises. It's a good way to practice. Before you would be scared that you have to fill up 
five levels. Uh, you don't need to fill up all of them. It's enough to fill, for example, three levels and it will automatically jump between those three levels back and forth. The thing is, if you want to create such an adaptive exercise, it is good to put as many exercises on one level as you can. So if a user is stuck between two levels, we should be able to display more and more exercises for practice. Okay, any questions? Thank you for this presentation, uh, Melinda. As you can see, uh, there, are you. Lot, there are a lot of possibilities in this uh, system. Don't worry for this huge information. You can discover later uh, this software. Um, we uh, suggested the uh, exercise series for the expert after that uh, you uh, created uh, some normal uh, simple exercise and after you can create a series and adaptive game uh, series. Everyone would like to try out uh, the gateway before it goes, uh, you know, alive. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, it was a PowerPoint, yeah. Presentation. Yeah. Uh, motorok, Yeah. A selection of the games with uh, print screens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah with print I, I, screens, I remember. but it's in Hungarian. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Okay. Uh, we can send uh, a PPT in in English, and uh, if we set a, a test system. Uh, everybody can log in, in into the test uh, system and uh, everybody can try make create a new task a new exercise it's, uh, before it, okay? it goes green yes yes in a pilot yeah, version yeah. Yeah. In, in in the pilot version uh, now uh, we are using the development system but uh, we can set um, a, a user test system as well. Mm -hmm. It is not a production. After everybody can, uh, everybody can make an exercise. Uh, we can uh, load uh, into uh, the production system from the test system. Uh, the task we can uh, transfer mm -hmm. uh, the exercise. The exercise can be uh, copied, can be made uh, mm -hmm. a, a copy, and uh, we uh, plan uh, to add a new field to the exercise, uh, a language, uh, a language. And uh, uh, for example, uh, somebody creates a new uh, exercise, uh, uh, another user can make a copy and uh, can translate for uh, mm -hmm. his, uh, her language. Mm, uh, this is the solution. This is the solution. Uh, for the um, exercises, excellent engine, there is no possibility to translate itself uh, the, um, the data of uh, uh, the exercise because uh, Sometimes it's very, very difficult to translate. Only the title and the caption mm -hmm. can be can be translated, but the the task itself in the exercises it it uh, can be no. translated. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can uh, make a copy and you can change the the data in uh, or a picture mm -hmm. uh, anything. Uh, uh, let's imagine uh, I attach uh, a Hungarian um, language, uh, not a uh, video um, sound, for mm -hmm. example, a sound. Uh, the another user can change, <laughs> has to change the the, the sound file, has to change. Mm -hmm. So um, 
everybody can copy from the other other user mm -hmm. exercise yeah. on Monday. See you. But bye if bye. you have any questions, please save it for Monday, right? So yeah. Yeah. try and to digest and, and ask. Okay, and take a Thank photo. You. Uh, uh, bye bye. Take, take, a, a take a group picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dissemination. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. 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 bye.